uh, an Israeli uh, you know, journalist publicly called for genocide, okay? And he, um, I don't know where is it, otherwise I would take it myself. But uh, <clears throat> this guy, I think, yeah, let me see. Uh, I go from a little bit before. I am for war crimes, he says. I don't care if I am criticized. He doesn't care if he's criticized. And I honestly don't care, <clears throat> okay? This is uh, <clears throat> what is dangerous, okay? There are on the side of Palestinian as well, like Hamas, that who have the same mindset, all right? But the thing is that they have little power and <clears throat> these people have a lot of power. They have uh, fighter jets, they have these bombs, you know, such a devastating, uh, devastating bombs that they have. They can destroy a whole building within one second, okay? So <clears throat> he said, and I honestly don't care. I am I'm unable to sleep if I do not see houses being destroyed in Gaza. My God, such a monster. He cannot sleep if he doesn't see that people get killed, women, children get killed there. Uh, what he said? What do I say? More houses. More buildings. I want to see more of them destroyed. If, and, uh, sorry, I want there to be nothing for them. <clears throat> to return to, okay? I think I played something last week as well that uh, some of these, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, Zionists who young people were saying that we must flatten Gaza, make it like a parking lot. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, I remember that this David Wood was saying that, oh, why Egypt doesn't let Palestinian to go to Egypt because they know their neighbors and such things. No, because <clears throat> Egypt knew that they are going to send all these uh, uh, Palestinians from Gaza, two and a half million to Egypt, and will not allow them to return, okay? That's why uh, Egypt was stopping them from entering Egypt, because they knew that these people are not going to return back, and Israel just want to send them out and take over the entire Gaza, okay, to occupy it entirely.